This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, EVP at JSA, and joining me today is my old friend, Mr. Tom Brown. Tom is the president and CEO of Hudson InterExchange. Tom, welcome back to JSA TV. How are you? Doing great, Dean, and thanks for having me today. You bet. Good to you be bet. Back. Tom, we've got a lot to talk about today, so let's jump right in. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Hudson InterExchange or Hudson IX? formerly known as DataGrid, um, and about your recent acquisition and brand new uh, brand identity. Dean, really, really exciting times here. So uh, when you met with me a few years back, uh, we were known as DataGrid, but uh, at the kickoff of, of this new year, uh, we were acquired by Cordian Digital Infrastructure Limited. And uh, CDIL, better known uh, in the UK, is, is somewhat of a newcomer uh, in the digital infrastructure fund uh, in this business. Uh, listed on the London Stock Exchange, <clears throat> they debuted in the uh, Q1 of 18. Um, but really unique about uh, CDIL is two things. One, incredibly resourceful. Uh, the chairman, Steve Marshall, he was head of American Tower for a better part of 12 years. Uh, and Ben McCoola out of uh, Toronto, spends a lot of his time in the UK as well has been a better part of 30 plus years in uh, this space and really came together to, to build this, this, uh, this digital fund. So uh, really excited to have them as partners, um, but rather unique in how they're set up. They're actually a permanent capital fund, which is unique here and not well known in the US, right. where uh, if investors want to buy in uh, and then get their capital out, um, they do so by uh, selling their shares. So uh, there is a really a long-term perspective on the investments. And for us, gratefully, uh, for me, DataGrid, now Hudson Interexchange, uh, we were the first foray into the U.S. So really, really excited about what lies ahead and uh, the, the partners that we have um, because they're aligned not only with what we're doing here day to day, uh, but a great perspective on, on, on the business itself and the industry itself. I love it. Um, you said, uh, what lies ahead? Let's go that direction. Hudson IX's 60 Hudson Street uh, location is one of the most concentrated hubs in uh, of internet connectivity in New York City. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that facility and the expansion plans that you guys, uh, you guys have taking place, I think, currently, right? Here we are. So, Dean, think about the landscape uh, globally for a second and how explosive the data center space has been. But when you look at New York City, New York City is actually contracted. Why? Because our friends at Google, when you think about the three primary aggregation points, 111 8th Avenue, 60 Hudson Street, 165 Halsey, right? One of those is now occupied predominantly by Google, right? So there's been some concentration in uh, New York City. So uh, when you think about available space uh, and the ability to have that seamless connectivity, Internet continues to grow, but the aggregation points have contracted and that's unique. And people scratch their head and say, wait a second, that's quite interesting what's happening in New York City. So uh, Hudson Air Exchange, uh, we are now expanding and we pivoted with our new partners to a more retail. And how I define retail, Dean, is not uh, a wholesale. And a wholesale mm -hmm. to us is an operator, right? On the fifth floor, we have a partnership with our friends at DRT. They uh, lease an entire floor from us, 60,000 square feet. And now we're expanding uh, on the sixth floor, which is another 60,000 square feet. And you'll be seeing very shortly some of the announcements of some of the folks that we just uh, are onboarding um, in the wireless uh, realm, uh, as well as uh, some of the uh, nation's largest uh, ILEC providers. So we're really excited about the traction that we're seeing in the expansion. So. We currently have the one megawatt data hall and now looking to expand to uh, two and three uh, data halls, which are also one megawatt each. So really, really excited about that. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm not going to ask you to name any names, Tom, but why don't you give us an idea of what your kind of your short term plans look like, your long term plans look like, where, where are things headed uh, over there? Sure. So short term, right? We focus on this asset that we have here because uh, the space uh, built that space within 60 Hutchinson Street is limited. 
uh, and with our abundance of power, keep in mind, we are, we have a very, very unique asset whereby we have power directly fed from the utility, which is unique from the rest of the building. The rest of the building has contracted out all of its power. So 12 megawatts of that 15 that we have allocated for Hudson Interchange uh, comes directly fed from the, uh, the utility. So mm. the sixth floor, we're looking to uh, expand that out. Uh, and then we have options on seven and eight where we actually pre-built the uh, power for those floors. So near term, uh, when I see near term in the next uh, two to three years, mm -hmm. uh, lease that space up because there's quite a demand, but also our ability to access uh, 300 plus uh, providers. And, and we provide uh, the connectivity, which is uh, one that has uh, an innovative uh, means to it where we direct connect from our customers to their partners, uh, eliminating that meet me room or meet me area that mm -hmm. is so custom and traditional, uh, particularly uh, in New York City. Uh, and that also brings flexibility and, and really a client focus, which is, uh, which is really renewed and a breath of fresh air uh, here in New York that we're bringing to the marketplace to a broad spectrum of, of, uh, of, of customers, whether it's traditional service providers, both international, domestic, cloud content gaming, large enterprise, uh, mm -hmm. we're seeing it all that, that have that latency driven applications that, that we can certainly uh, help them uh, deploy their footprints in New York. Long-term, really, really excited. Uh, both existing and emerging aggregation points. The, the fact of the matter is, as you see this, the, the consumption of data going high and right, um, there, it just isn't enough aggregation points. There is, as you can see, a huge explosion uh, on the edge, but it all has to filter back to these aggregation points. Right. So uh, our partners at CDIL are, are looking at, uh, and you'll see some announcements coming down the, the path. Uh, these things take time, um, but you'll see it in both existing and emerging uh, points. Think about this, when load balancing and, and diversity of networks is so key, uh, these now emerging aggregation points pop up. Think about Columbus, Dean, five years ago, really didn't exist. Now that's a main staple. Uh, yeah. You look at Austin, you're looking at Nashville, you're looking at parts of Florida right now. Uh, you're seeing these 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 aggregation pop up, so that's where you'll see uh, Hudson uh, Interchange and our partners at CDIL uh, come into play. Yeah, I love it. You know, interesting. You should mention Columbus because on uh, a uh, fast forward episode podcast that uh, Jamie and I do, I think probably 25 percent of the news had something to do with Columbus. Right. Uh, and I, of course, being from the Midwest, I'm a, I'm a big proponent. Right. Um, but uh, Tom, this is this is your time to freestyle. Is there anything else that you think our viewers would would, would be interesting to learn about uh, Hudson IX? And again, just a, a really ultra focus uh, on the client, right? The flexibility of being able to deploy what your requirement is. We look at each deployment as something that's very unique to what that uh, specific customer needs. It is not trying to fit that round peg in a square hole. What is it that you need to accomplish? And we are just a small part of their solution. And uh, that approach is, has been eye-opening for, for our prospective customers and our existing customers. And we're really excited uh, about that. And, and you're going to see that not only here in New York, but uh, as we evolve throughout. But what's really interesting, Dean, is, is the way in which CDIL looks at the business, right? They believe there's great synergies between towers, fiber infrastructure, uh, and data centers. And they don't look at that as each individual silos. And companies today uh, are investing in those silos separately. Uh, the principals here look at that as very synergistic. So look at some of the things that are going to be coming down the pike for uh, Hudson Air Exchange um, and keeping those three asset classes in mind. Excellent, Tom. So for our viewers that want to learn more about Hudson IX, where can they go? So one, first and foremost, schedule a tour in person. It's great to have people back in person. Uh, so schedule a tour uh, here at 60 Hudson Street. We've been seeing a ton of uh, traction with folks coming in and taking a look at it. Uh, of course, our website, uh, HudsonIX.com, you can reach the entire team there. Uh, there's QR codes that you can just uh, 
uh, access the entire team. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the Inner Exchange podcast. We will have a launch episode, so stay tuned for that. So uh, really excited about uh, what lies ahead for Hudson Inner Exchange. That's, uh, that's awesome, uh, Tom. It is always great to see you virtually. Um, I suspect we will see one another and, uh, and give one another a handshake, if not a hug, the next time we see one another. Uh, so again, it's, uh, thank you very much for being here today. Let's do this again, maybe end of year or something. How does that sound? That'd be great, Dean. Thank you. Uh, again, look out. We'll be a very different company then. So very excited. Great awesome. to talk to you. Great to, to see and talk with you as well, Tom. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.